dem all unsere Illusionen entstanden sind. In der Menge nämlich über 10 solcher Kameras war natürlich We have more than 10 of these cameras, so they made their premiere with the Ehrlich brothers. The camera left an amazing impression on me because of the quality, which nothing else compares to, I have to say. The brilliance, the depth of field, the displayed images, unique to such an extent that all of us have to adapt. Set designer, lighting designer, producer, director, camera crew. Because everything is visible in such detail. This was indeed my very first production with the Airy cameras, and I was pleasantly surprised. I was amazed how the cameras coped with the lighting, the high color saturation, the colorfulness. I find the almost hyper-realism which these cameras capture to be deeply impressive. I cannot think of anything comparable. It allows us to present things better or even more extremely because the camera has much better capabilities. In coordination with Thomas Gurdon, we had to reassess every square meter of the background, incorporate it differently with regards to the lighting as we know it from the classic show. I find it extremely important to see the audience, to see reactions, to see the astonishment in their faces. And the TV channel people say the same. We want to see the audience. We want to see reactions. We want to include the viewer at home. I call the Area Mira a cine camera because it has a cinematic look. It produces stunning visuals, almost picturesque. It's filigree, especially with regards to the definition and focus. It's fantastic. In the television industry, we're generally used to having to be able to handle a limited focus range due to the combination of a long focal length, full format sensor, and a relatively wide aperture. But there's still room for improvement. It can still get tighter. Therefore, it is of greater importance to have precision control via the focus puller's hand unit. The shows we do are mainly lit for T2.8, so actually you're already increasing background blur when you use a longer lens. Personally, I was coping well with it. Of course, I had to fiddle around with it a bit, but for me, it is definitely a much nicer image than when operating a normal studio camera. I find this pictorial impression wonderful, and I also find that people stand out nicely from the background. With regards to the topic of skin tones, the Airy camera is the most sophisticated tool. The best, most beautiful, colorful, and effective live lighting design is of no use if I see blue bodies in the back of the image or people shining in red. This is why skin tones and a flattering appearance of the protagonist is the benchmark. The color design is something that is added on top of that. It's important for a camera operator to become one with the camera they operate. And this happened very quickly. I rapidly got used to this great camera and I liked it straight away. What I would like to positively highlight is that with Amera, you have the possibility to establish a wireless connection to the camera with a tablet and read information about which settings the camera is recording in. This, for example, is a screenshot I took of the wireless connection. We worked with a sensitivity of EI-800 and had an aperture of T4, shooting at 50 frames per second. It is super comfortable to access the menu settings. There were a lot of aha moments. It was actually a lot of fun to work with the camera. It also helped with issues which usually tend to be problematic, like light reflections in the lens. That often happens when the camera is positioned in front of and below the talent, and the backlight shines into the lens. The Airy cameras coped with this absolutely wonderfully. 
There was a small aura around the lens of the spotlight, a mini star around it. The Ehrlich brothers are not only artists, they're producers. They're lighting designers. They are set designers as well. They are absolute tech freaks, to a much greater degree than you would normally expect from show business people who are active in front of the cameras. If there is anything new with regards to tech, they are very interested, and they always want to try it out immediately. I think they found this cinematic look for their show to be fantastic. And they noticed that all of us coped with it really well. To sum it up, one can only repeat that this is an immensely rewarding product, and there is so much you can do with it. There is no application I could not imagine it for. I would not hesitate to do a huge event with these cameras because the results are deeply impressive.